<laughs> Hello, Bloganeers. We are in Williams, Arizona, and today we're going to check out Barizona. This is a unique experience where you can drive through the park with animals roaming around your car. First, we're going to do the driving portion and loop around the park, and then we'll get out of our car, and there's a short walking portion. In this park, the animals are free roaming, which means that they can get up close to our car. I'm pretty sure they're safe. So far, we've seen a mountain goat and a reindeer. Every so often on the road, you hear a bump, 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 and that's basically like a cattle guard, except for the animals here, not cattle, uh, so they don't cross over to the wrong section. There's a mule and I think a dog cow deer. Here is the cattle guard type of thing that I was talking about. Bum, 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 bum. Did you hear that? And also, we're now in the bureau section. A around a year ago, we went to Beatty, Nevada. Oh, there's a bureau. And they're like adorable little donkey type of animals. Oh, there. Yeah, Oh, there's two. There's two bureaus. We're entering the Tundra Wolves section. The sign says windows up, doors locked, no exceptions. Also known as Arctic Wolves. The Tundra Wolves section, also known as the Arctic Wolves. We don't see them right now. Maybe they're sleeping. Or in a hideout since there, it's a rainy day. There, if it's you do. Up ahead. It's up ahead. The Arctic Wolf is blocking our path. I think we just made a big loop, but there's an Arctic Wolf dead. Two things about the weather today. Number one, a lot of areas we have to, oh, here, we're entering the junior bear section. Oh, there are two of us. Oh. A ton. Wow. Six. Junior Two things about the weather today. Number one is in a lot of areas, like here, the Junior Bear, you have to keep your windows rolled up, and there's obviously raindrops on our thing, so it kind of, well, in a way, the shot looks cool with the raindrops, but also you cannot see us clearly, and, uh, well, you guys, the viewers, cannot see us clearly. And also, I don't know if on a sunny day there's more animals out here. Guys, in the den, there was a baby bear. But also up there in the den, keep a lookout in the den. There might be another baby bear. That's my second baby bear. Considering that it's a rainy day, I'm surprised that there's so many animals out. Oh, I see some bisons up ahead, White but bison. we'll, get, we'll get there past the fence. And also, uh, I think the animals here like the cool weather better, better because it says during the summer months, they're more active in the early morning and late in the afternoon. So maybe we came out a good time. Over there on the right, there's the black or big bears. Big black bears. The bears are kind of far away, but that's probably the closest we've been to them without a fence separating us. That's still cool. We have the option to go through the loop again later, so we might see animals that we didn't see now. Now we're going on the walking portion of the zoo. Please do not feed the sausage. This is a marbled red fox, which is white, and his name is Francis. A 
raccoon escaped the dead. Over here are the cute river otters, and don't confuse them with sea otters. Sea otters are bigger. The otters are playing tag or whatever it is. We're at the gift shop and they're gonna bring some animals out. Apparently the fox is gonna run down by herself and it's this type of fox. That was the fennec fox, so that apparently she can run up to 25 miles per hour, jump six feet across, and go three feet in the air. And also, they're native to the Sahara Desert where it can get up to 120 degrees, so they're able to adapt to the warm weather and have a body function that cools their body down and also extracts water from all the food they eat so they never have to drink water. We're waiting for another animal show. Normally they do these outside, but since it's raining, it got moved to the gift shop. So Clash here is what's called a living since Taraco. Taracos are fabulous little birds from Africa. They live on the eastern and southern coast in the jungles. The next animal encounter is the skunk. Followed by a baby armadillo. The dosa is asking us what can bite through an armadillo shell. What do you think? Jaguar? Yes, the jaguar, yeah. Those two goats are hiding under the shelter, and so is this one. In this exhibit, there's American badgers, or goodgers. I forgot to talk about that indoor show earlier. The armadillo was so cute, uh, and I, I like how it basically moves like an iRobot, or a, uh, the lady said a remote control car, I agree. It just goes. And then also, what was the, uh, oh, the skunk. I'm glad that the skunk cannot actually spray us because I don't want to get sprayed a second time by animals. The bears look so happy and I love how they have such a huge space to roam around and play. Uh, and sometimes they like jump on so their paws lift off the ground. It's so cute. Now it's time for the bears to be fed and hopefully we'll be able to participate. There you go. I just throw it? Yeah, see how those guys are there. Right to them. Here you go, bear. I'm going to throw a sweet potato to the bear. I wonder if the bear is able to separate the fruit part from the core. Anyways, here's an apple and... Go get it. Oops. Oh! These bears are all siblings and they came from Glacier National Park. Their mom got killed because she tried to attack a hiker. So they're rescued and now this will be their home forever. And that is Bearazona. I love how there's two parts to this wildlife park, the driving and walking portion. The walking part is cool because you get to see way more animals and get up close without a car. But, but the driving part it's is the most, yeah, it's very unique. And it's also super safe because the animals the animals are not going to attack your car as long as you follow all the rules. Keep your windows up if it's predators and stuff like that. It's also cool that we got to see two animal shows and feed the bears. Feeding the bears was really fun because when you throw it out, it's kind of like a bait and all of them try fighting. Yep, and, and the bears also wave. That was so, yeah, so cool. Like
If you go like that, eventually they'll wave back. So Arizona is not just bears. They have many other animals. And this place, if you ever are near Williams, we highly recommend this place. It's probably the best attraction in Williams. And that's it. Please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Bye. And hit that like button.